My name is Stephen Gagne, and I am a writer and director. There's an idea in writing that character is more important than plot, or plot is more important than character. And over many years of writing stories, I've come to realize that plot and character really are exactly the same thing. So your character development, where your characters are going, is what's going to shape the story. And the way that their character development is shaped is by the world that they're in. So everything does sort of fit together to begin with. Most of the ideas that I come up with are ideas that are far too big for a short story. So often what I do is I write these stories, I'll write a treatment, I will write a short story about it, realize this is half a novel in length, and then try to pull out just one moment. So the story focuses on that one critical decision or that one critical moment. And when I've solved that, that's when the story has to stop. I try to make sure that the characters that I create have a place in a world. I may not even know yet what the world is going to be, but I want to make sure that the characters have a role in that. So once I have that, I start developing character traits. In character traits, I will always try to balance a positive and a negative trait. So if I make a character that is extremely intelligent, I make them doubt themselves. If I have a character who is extremely powerful, I make them insecure, so that I have something more interesting to work with than you know, the super-powered, all-good, all-the-time person. That leads to some interesting character problems. Often I wind up with characters who are too conflicted, who have motivations that don't make sense, and that process usually leads to me splitting those characters up. In Deviance, the last film we worked on, I had a character who was doing things that were completely against his self-interest. So the only way to make that work was to have a parallel character, who in this case was his best friend, who shares the traits that didn't fit, so that everything that didn't make sense the other character could do, and they could have dialogue back and forth about that. The length of time that I spend writing a story varies a lot. Some stories just pop into my head fully formed. I know where I want to go, I know what I want to do, and I just write them in one night. Other times it takes me a lot longer. Usually what I resort to doing when I don't have the idea right away is just grabbing a pen and paper and writing a whole series of questions. Who is this character? What does he do? Why does he do it? What would happen if? And that late night writing session often helps put the story together. So that when I do sit down and write, I can do that fairly quickly, crank out a bad draft, and then turn it into a mediocre draft, and then finally turn it into something that's worth filming.